Hi hey everybody, it's April from April's Crochet and More, and I want to apologize for getting this video out late. This video will be for the winner of my June giveaway. First I thought I would show you the baby blanket that I'm making. It's from the dotted line from Lion Brand. I thought I'd let you guys see it. And then I will show you. Oh, if you're interested in this pattern, um, I think it's on from the Lion Brand website. One of their, it's one of their free patterns. They have this one in the store. Roll this up. Set this back down. This is from the June giveaway. There is Dream Colors, 100% wool. Let me scoot this up so you can see better. Sorry for the traffic noise. I have the door open. There's something you can hear the semis that are down the road on the highway. This is from Hobie, and it's 437 yards. You can make a really pretty cow out of it. It's really nice and soft. Then there is sugar cream. Sugars. Yeah, sugar and cream. Cotton yarn. It's... Where is it at? Four ply. 150 yards. Um, I'm not sure yet what the weight of it is. But I'd say it's close to a four. This is a super sized ball. You can make a few dish towels out of it if you want. Then I'm including a scan of the turnstile, which is 48% acrylic, 34% wool, 18% polymate. And it, is, it takes one ball to make a hat. It is a bulky five. This color is Baby Breath. And this is Premier Serenity Chunky. It is also 109 yards. And this color is, and this is 100% acrylic. Um, I see this color is Stormy. I think it would make a nice guy's hat. And then, this is Ice Yarns Alpine Angora. And it's 150 meters, so it is... I didn't do the conversion, but that makes it more than 109 yards. And I went ahead and... I, oh, and here's... This is a copy of... My toy box, or yeah, silly putty hat. For it's a child's hat, and you can use any of these bulky fives. I used the silly putty um, yarn when I made mine. It's in one of the videos. I went ahead and I picked from the video from review from. Turnstile yarn for out of the videos for June. I'll keep wanting to say July. So I pasted it in here. Can't see it through the camera. I'm gonna get the comments. And there is 48 unique comments. So I'm gonna go down here and Click start. And the winner is Kathy Garber. Her comment is, hello, the yarn is pretty. I will have to find a sale on it. Cheers. So 
So, Kathy, you are the winner. Please send me an email with your information so I can get your yarn out to you. And if you are allergic to wool, please let me know. And I will replace it with acrylic. So, well, I guess I really don't know what else to say, but have a great day, everybody, and thank you for watching and sticking with me.